Hi Pisces, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please do give this video a thumbs up. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and other tarot readers on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for giving us uh, your likes, shares, and subscribes. It is really, um, you are really a blessing to us. Thank you so much. Oops. All right. Two main energies. You have the Ace of Cups and then the Judgment card. All right. You have the Eight of Wands, the Hermit, and then the Emperor card. You have the Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries because the Fool is an Aries card and the Emperor is an Aries card, or it could be dealing with a Virgo or a Sag. All right. Or they could have those placements. Doesn't have to be their Sun, Moon, or Rising, but they could have strong placements. All right. You have the Knight of Cups and then the Knight of Wands. Okay, uh, Spirit wants me to switch the two. Alright, switch the two. Alright. Okay. So I put... Those are two cl clarifiers. Alright, that's the arrangement. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So you're leaving, you've left 2021 on a high note, but it doesn't feel like a high note, I know. For most of you, you've left 2021 being single or without anyone in your life. You've, you know, closed out very toxic cycles in 2021, which is really good and you're starting 2022 with zero baggage i'm getting that very clearly not just because of the full card here but more so i'm really spirit is see is letting me is showing me someone freeing themselves up with a very heavy backpack like it's you know those students with really big backpacks with lots and lots and lots of books inside they're showing me that that you're you've put that off your shoulders you've released that from your shoulders and you've taken a few books and you're carrying it to wherever you're supposed to go so maybe it's more on letting go of things that no longer serve you you're carrying some of the lessons that you've learned through to your next journey so yeah zero baggage i love it okay let's start with the reading pisces you have the ace of cups to end the judgment card all right my judgment card is the card of second chances so yes venus is in retrograde mercury will be in retrograde in the next few days so yes do expect a return from someone from your past all right this is the judgment card here this is someone who's wanting another chance with you other than that ace of cups new love coming towards you this is someone you've met very recently i'm really getting like the past month Maybe in December, you've gotten to know this person. 
maybe already in your energetic vicinity a few months before that but more so this is someone you've really gotten to know in december so new love plus someone from your past all right that these are two people in your main energetic vicinity you have the eight of wands to the full card you could be dealing with an aries as i said this is someone very passionate coming towards you someone who does not have baggage either all right i love it this is someone who wants to start something with you wants to take that leap of faith with you all right i'm getting this person will message you maybe you're already communicating but i'm getting I'm getting by mid-January to the end of January, this person will be messaging you, Pisces, that they want to take that leap of faith with you. And I'm getting they're going to ask you if you could take that leap of faith with them. Alright? So, I love it. This is someone very passionate coming towards you. And then you have the Hermit card. And then the knight of wands this is someone who has i'm getting mia i'm seeing the 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 acronyms mia so missing in action someone who has shut themselves out from the world or shut themselves from you this is someone who sh who most have who has most likely shut themselves off from you this is someone who has done a lot of soul searching a lot of dark night of the soul in your past this person that i'm getting this is your past person's energy all right so this this person was never committed to you in the past this was this person was very much in and out of your life and i'm getting this person has been trying to learn a lot of lessons that's why they you there was a period in the last in the ninth month of 2021 this person that was the last time for some of you that was the last time this person has communicated to you and from the ninth month moving towards 2021 you never heard from this person moving yeah moving moving to the last month of 2021 this person you never heard from this person so they really shut themselves out i'm getting this person had to do a lot of soul searching i'm getting that they learned a very painful lesson that they really needed to learn and that's what they that that is what drove them to do a lot of soul searching i'm getting they're learning a lot from themselves why can't they commit why can't why were they a player i'm getting why were they a player i usually don't say that when it comes to the knight of wands i just say non-committal but more so why were they a player so this person played you um they were trying they're trying to realize why did they have to do that um you know you sometimes we think about why do people why can't people commit to us but most of the time it's more of because they had they had they haven't had to how can i say this you can only meet someone as deep as they've met as you've met yourself right so what i'm trying to point out here is i don't want to i don't want to say that they're immature and they haven't grown because because they they didn't grow up this way or that there's no really right way of saying it so let's just say there were lessons that they needed to learn for them to understand all right this is a very let me know if it's a very unclear reading but 
it's this is what spirit is giving to me right now it's a very you know like a big pile of mixed energies you have the i'm sorry you have the emperor to the knight of cups all right you can be dealing with an aries but this is someone who knows exactly what they want and what they want is to offer you their cup of love this is someone who loves you very deeply and someone who has been holding back their feelings why I'm getting they have been I'm getting the energy that they have been used to people coming towards them but you're an empress I'm getting you are this person's counterpart the empress an empress doesn't move towards a person towards their emperor their emperor has to move towards them all right and this person has been used to people coming towards them that's why they hold back their feelings but this person has grown to love you so much i'm getting very much they fell in love with you at first sight and has grown to love you even deeper as they learn more about you so yeah the emperor has fallen in love with you and is going to express how much they love you not just passion but also love I'm getting the full this and uh, the the eight of wands to the full and the emperor to the knight of cups are the same energy this is from one person you are dealing this is your past person this is a new person coming towards you all right I love it I love it that wanted to pop out all right <clears throat> your overall outcome is the death card the high priestess and then the sun these are three major arcanas all right so definitely major changes coming towards you please be ready for this please be ready for this this is a new beginning for you a very beautiful transformation a very very beautiful transformation and i know that you're it's it's about to be unveiled it's about to be unveiled you know that this is coming you know that this is coming a lot of happiness a lot of you know a lot of joy and bliss and love a lot of expansion coming towards you pisces i love it i love it very much I love it very much that is your major well that this is your overall outcome let's see the advice for you just one card all right just one card you have the three of pentacles spirit is telling you to build solid foundations whoever you choose whether this is your past person or the new person it's your decision pisces your heart wants what it wants but more so build solid foundations with this person build solid foundations with them make sure that your values align make sure that your principles and values align that your beliefs align all right 
Other messages, please. Okay. Two. Three. Okay, three. All right. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You have new beginnings. I love it. If you could see the sun is rising. Sunrise. It's on the horizon. It's about to come in. All right? Don't give up. New beginnings are coming in. All right? You have love coming towards you. It's love, definitely. And then diligence. Diligence. All right? Last few messages, please. For my Pisces. You have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give, to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. All right? So yeah, that is all I have for you, Pisces. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please do give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and other tarot readers on YouTube. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.